Then we're gonna get up out of here, man. But first, let's get this done right quick. First, we're gonna do Jettas, then we get to Addy, then we get up out of here, man. Training camp day two, man. Well, this is from day one, but I want to talk more about Jettas, dog, and how he feels. You hear me? What his vibes is, dog. The things on how to go on about his his business on and off the field. So uh, I'm always going to be that person to, to that that he can lean on and uh, talk to about anything. Uh, and we definitely will be here for him. How's, Go ahead, sorry. how's the chemistry working with Sam? Oh, uh, it's going great. With, uh, I mean, all of the quarterbacks are doing great. Uh, JJ is coming along with uh, you know him learning the playbook and him uh, you know just getting comfortable uh, with being out there. Sam it definitely definitely seems like. Um, He's energized, right? He's happy. <laughs> Can't deny that, right? Seems he seems definitely energized and happy. <laughs> more turned up, more turned up. <laughs> and people may not believe it, man, but I, I think it's a lot to do with his daughter as well, man. Even though the situation may not be ideal, but I'm sure he glad the court si situation is over and everything, dog. You know, he can just play football. And like I say, you know, he's playing for something more than just himself, dog. Not only his legacy, he's leaving some for his little one. You hear him? <laughs> Now she watching, dog. Heavy. Forget what the what what her mama talking about. If it's drama there, you know what I'm saying. I'm sure, he focused on his little one, dog. But his energy, he seemed like he more energetic, dog. He ready to be there, happy about being there. And it could be that payday. It could be that payday he just got on huh? that guapino. That guapino, yeah. <laughs> of course, he gonna be happy he got that guapino, right? Heavy, yeah. Sam has been throwing bombs today and uh he's been looking great as well so uh, i'm excited to see what all of the quarterbacks have uh during the training camp and uh see who we you heard what he said he said sam darnold has been throwing bombs and they say that boy sam darnold throwing you know what i mean <laughs> and it's even news that justin jefferson is, is more talkative you know more free and be being more of a leader taking on more of that captain role and that's very imperative very important though <laughs> but like i say his energy seems different he's running around the field he's jumping around you know elated dog happy to be there just happy to play football home a year <laughs> probably got a lot of things built up but the fact he's stepping up as a leader as a captain he's speaking highly of sam darnold so i'm sure he's happy about his quarterback situation no matter who it is <laughs> but that just shows you right there sam darnold jj mccarthy man Having good days is probably officially a battle, especially in the back of KOC's mind. It's probably officially a battle, dog. But it's good that Jettas can just be free, just play ball. You see, he's in his element, dog. He's in his element. You hear me? He loves football. He wants to be the best. He wants to be the greatest. That's the type of guy he is. You hear me? He wants to be one of the best, dog. He is in his element. He is in his element. Hands down, man down. You hear me? Point blank, period. Jefferson is in his element. It's going to be trouble. It's going to be trouble for whoever across him, dog. Period. Huh? Happy for the dude, dog. No cap. We'll go with during the season. Do you look at yourself as the leader of this offense? Of course I do. I mean, I, I have a C on my chest, and uh, I carry that with pride. So uh, every time I step foot on this field, even when I'm out, uh, out of this building, uh, you know, people looking at me and people are, you know, I'm a role model. So. Uh, I just got to carry that on my on my chest and uh, make sure I'm doing the right things. What do you credit with? See, Jefferson understands, right? He understands his position, right? He understands his position, even though it's not his job or his detail to be a role model for real. But he knows he's in the spotlight. He understands kids, the youth is watching him, kids looking up to him, even adults and kids looking up to him, right? So he understands the responsibility that comes with the job, with the fame, et cetera, dog. A lot of responsibility in the way he carries himself, like he said, off the field, huh? Understands off the field, dog. Stays out of trouble, stays out of drama, dog. Not in the streets, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Not caught up in no bullshit, homie. Putting the work in, wanting to be great. <laughs> he got the baby mama situation, but it's not putting him in danger. You hear me? Maybe attacking his pockets, but he'd be straight with that, huh? <laughs> he getting thirty five mil a year. You hear me? They can only take so much, homie. You hear me, dog? And I'm sure he learned from that mistake, dog, or that whatever that was, right? Whatever that situation was. But at the end of the day, Jettas a great, a great prime example of how to carry yourself on and off the field, off season and all, right? You see two dynamics, huh? Jordan Addison, how he how he handling it, how he carrying it, and Justin Jefferson, how he handling it, how he carrying it, dog. We're gonna get to Addison in a minute, last segment. You hear me? <laughs> but it just feels good to see Jettas back on the field, knowing he got money in his pocket, his hamstring looking healthy, he looking healthy, right? He ready to play ball, homie. Period, dog. Let's get it. Let that man eat, homie. No cap.
helping mold you into the man that you are and the role model that you are. Probably one of the more selfless superstars that they have in the game now. Uh, my, my family. I definitely got to give uh, that credit to my family. They definitely, you know, taught me how to be humble, taught me how to be uh, appreciative of what I what I get. Uh, and I just love playing football. Solid foundation. Come from a solid foundation, huh? You know, respect, integrity, all that. Morals and principles. Respect it. At the end of the day. Uh, so, you know, if anything is, is coming in between me and football, I ain't messing with it. <laughs> Would you just swear to yourself at all since you uh, signed a new contract? Anything kind of fun? Uh, I did a couple fun things. Uh, not really, you know, financially wise, but uh, uh, just, you know, just trying to figure out, you know, housing situation, car situation, you know, trying to take care of my family. So, you know, not too much not too much. I figure you still have the Oakley deal, right? Yes, I do. I got them all right now. <laughs> what type of things that you want on in the offseason that you want to put on this floor? Yeah, yeah, get that bag. Jettles, get that bag. You hear me? <laughs> he said he got them sponsorship. Get that bag. Jettles heavy, dog. Point blank period. Get them. Get, get that Guapino, dog. Oakley sponsorship on top of his big deal. Yeah, man, Jettles going to be straight, on. Now it's time to focus on football. Focus in on the task at hand, dog. Point blank period, huh? way to get better uh, the training camp. Yeah, well, first things first was uh, I didn't like how my season turned out last year. So uh, it's all about, you know, just getting my body prepared and my body right to go on this long season, uh, especially while training camp is happening. Uh, so it just was about, you know, just making sure my hamstring and uh, all of my joints and ligaments are up to par. Just do you show up to training camp with goals in mind for the season for yourself, or is that something that you kind of formulate over the next couple of weeks? Um, no, nah, I, I definitely have goals, you know, that I, I lean into going in towards the season. Uh, but my same goals are just like last year. You know, I, I didn't get to finish out the whole full season uh, last year, so I pretty much have the same goals that I had last year. In what area specifically do you think you can elevate your game this season? Um, I can elevate my game in plenty of ways. Uh, it's just all about ways to find out how to elevate my game on a different level. Uh, there's always room for improvement. There's always uh, things for me to. Facts. Always room for growth. Always room for improvement. Huh? Big facts, dog. Always room for growth. Excuse me. Always room for, for improvement, dog. No cap. To learn and uh, things to pick up on. So I'm always a person that's looking at different people and watching different players. Uh, so I can, you know, pick up on that a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I, just like I said, no, no one knows Jordan besides the people that's that's in this building. Uh, we know what he's going through and we know uh, what type of situation he's in. So uh, we're just telling him to lean on us, you know, talk to us about. And that's what's up, dog. You know what I'm saying? Be there, listen to, you know what I'm saying? Listen to what he's growing through. You know, word is he said he was in a dark place. We're going to get to that in a minute, dog. But just being there, being a true support, dog, vice versa. Man, sharper man, iron, sharpen iron, right? Talking to him, trying to help him out. You know what I'm saying? Guide him in the right direction. See what he need, dog. Be a shoulder to lean on if need be, huh? We know at the end of the day, Jordan Addison got to make, got to want to change, got to change his ways, homie. But just that team support, the team showing they rocking with him no matter what. Got his back, standing behind him, 10 toes down. You hear me? <laughs> It makes a difference, dog. And Jordan Addison talked about it, about it, how, how, how it was all love, how the team embraced him, players embraced him, dog. Told him keep his head up, you hear me? Do all the negativity, all, all the cap, whatever, the bullshit, whatever. Keep your head up, homie. We're here for you. Rocking with your hands down, man down. You hear me? It's respect, man. Let's get it. Anything that he's going through, uh, but we always will be here for him. What is your observation about John? Yeah, he definitely have a strong arm. Uh, just seeing the, the deep throws he threw today, uh, just with touch and, and good spiral. So uh, I definitely, definitely like that going into. <laughs> yeah, you tell, you tell, you can, you can tell by just a smile. He liked that, right? <laughs> Asked him about Sam Darnold. He said, yeah, I like Sam Darnold, homie. I like Sam Darnold a lot. You hear me? <laughs> Talked about his spiral, his deep ball, et cetera, et cetera. Hey, man, shout out Jettis. Shout out Sam Darnold, dog. The competition is on. Heavy. Ryan 